ICP could potentially be gearing up for a massive run up. And there's something in this chart that you're seeing on your screen that is telling me that we might see a 30 plus percent rally in the price of ICP, but it might not stop there. We believe we can get to up to $15 over the next 30 days or so. And I'm going to outline exactly why in this video. And we'll get back to the chart a little later and show you exactly why I believe ICP is ready for a 30% rally. Let's take a look at where has ICP been up 15% over the last seven days. As you can see here from coin market cap at $8.18. We believe one of the most undervalued projects in the space for all the different narratives that they fit in and everything that they're doing. Let's start with what have the whales been doing? Well, they've been topping up on three cryptos, one of them being Internet Computer Y. In this article from News BTC, one of the key reasons, well, they title ICP as the backbone of Web3, which I fully agree with. One of the key reasons crypto whales are flocking to Internet Computer is its massive potential to disrupt the current internet infrastructure. The demand for ICP is expected to grow as more developers and users migrate to their platform. Furthermore, ICP's ability to enable the creation of open internet services with tokenized governance models offers a unique value proposition that appeals to both developers and investors. As the adoption of decentralized applications and services continue to rise, so too does the potential for ICP to achieve significant market dominance. One of those areas of market dominance uh, is DPIN, Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. Experts, as experts predict that DPIN, along with RWA, will lead crypto adoption wave. And on the bottom here, I'll show you, they, uh, they mentioned ICP, right? Among other players, such as Render and Filecoin. They expect this growth to exceed $20 billion, but we believe uh, ICP is a lot more. You think of ICP and what narratives does it fit? If it's the deep in narrative, if it's the uh, smart contract narrative, if it's the uh, chain fusion narrative as far as bridging other, uh, bridging ecosystems together, if it's the AI narrative, which I'm going to talk about in this video as well, um, if it's the everything on chain narrative, there's so many narratives that ICP fits that one of them is bound to catch on if not all of them are bound to catch on. One not more important than the other. You can argue that AI could be potentially more important as people flock to artificial intelligence and are, are looking for not only blockchains, but just protocols, software that they can leverage and use to build these large language models and AI on, and ICPs at the forefront. And I want to share this video here from Dominic Williams, the chief scientist of uh, at Definity. Uh, talking about AI and blockchain and what they're focused on and doing. Listen to this. We're focused on getting really sophisticated large language models like Llama 3 onto the internet computer. The primary current limitation is that internet computer execution environment runs smart contracts that can have a maximum of four gigabyte persistent main memory. And that's because it's using 32-bit WASM. You know, a bit like Windows 95 was 32-bit back in the day. Soon, we're gonna put proposals into the network nervous system that will move the internet computer to 64-bit WASM. And that will make it possible to increase the amount of persistent main memory that smart contracts have as needed. We're sort of hoping we can increase it to something like 15, gig, which will enable you to fit, for example, a 7-8 gigabyte distillation of Llama 3 into a smart contract, which will be absolutely mega. Will be absolutely mega. Yes, that will be absolutely mega. And this AI thing is not slowing down. We have NVIDIA Q2 reports coming out uh, on Wednesday, so two days from the time of this recording. We have the big Apple announcement. So AI is only going to continue to gain traction. And when people look around and say, well, where is this all going to be built? Where are we going to get all this compute from? Where are we going to get all this storage from, right? And all this energy from? I think uh, there's a good chance that ICP is going to be at the forefront of that. Uh, speaking of AI here, we have uh, uh, Decide AI uh, is harnessing the power of ICP's unique consensus algorithm to bring AI fully on chain, setting new standards for transparency and decentralization with 4,000 users and two on-chain large language models. The future of AI is here, and it is on ICP. Uh, and then we have this. This is uh, pretty big here. ICP has surpassed 5 terabytes of data storage, growing by 1.5 terabytes in the last year, a 43% increase 
year over year. Uh, there's a reason why the logo, my friends, is the Infinity logo is because ICP is infinitely scalable, pretty much like the internet, but a new version of the internet. Then we take a look at total ICP burned. We talked about this with Kyle Langham on our show. We did a sit down interview, talk about, hey, what are metrics, right? People like to use transactions, right? TPS. Well, there's obviously some pushback on, hey, TPS and TVL are two metrics that can be heavily modified, right? They could be, people can play around with them and make it look bigger than they are. So he said, you wanna look at revenue and fees and tokens burned, right? So here we have total ICP burned. The teal line is ICP transactions. This is on a three month time frame. So you can see here, it's been steadily going up and to the right with a decent spike happening back on August 12th. And in the purple is fees paid. Right, Fees are only paid when the network is being used. And again, the fees paid is in line with the total ICP transactions. So you take a look at, well, what is are, are transactions and things actually happening on chain or is it all bullshit metrics? You can see here from ICP, transactions along with fees, they're both going up and to the right. The network continues to grow and adoption continues to grow. And one more thing I wanna share before I get back to that chart I showed you in the beginning, it's just an update on what's going on. So the Turium milestone is live, which introduces the threshold Schnorr signatures for taproot assets and on-chain Bitcoin block headers, which unlocks a wide range of new possibilities on the Bitcoin network, including inscribing ordinals, etching runes, minting BRC20 tokens, and more, becoming fully integrated with everything Bitcoin does, but faster, cheaper, more scalable, and still being able to leverage the security of Bitcoin as it is not a bridged asset. It is an actual asset that settles on the Bitcoin layer one network, something very unique that ICP is doing. Let's get back to the chart. This is ICP on the four hour. And I mentioned a 30% rally could be coming. I want to shift your attention to this area here. Okay. This was back uh, August 15th. We saw a big drawdown, right? kind of trending down lower lows and lower highs. And then we had these two candles here, right? One of them you can argue this is a spinning top. I'd argue this is more of a hammer, right? Or hammering out a bottom. When you see a candle pattern like this, you tend to, especially at the top or at the bottom of an uptrend or downtrend respectively, this is a very strong reversal pattern, right? And so what did we see from the price of ICP the last time we saw a hammer candle? Well, let's go ahead and measure this move from the bottom to the top, not even the wick, just the top of the candle where it closed, 27% increase. And well, my friends, what are you seeing on your screen right now? This candle that closes in 13 minutes at the time of recording, this is a hammer candle. And where have we been with ICP? We have been in a downtrend from $8.80, wicking all the way down to sub $8. Now, if we do see a 30% rally, a 27% rally from ICP, now these are all probabilities, not saying it's definitely going to happen, but the price would put us at uh, just at, and let me, let me readjust here. The price would put us right around $10.50. But we believe that's just the beginning. We should see a little bit of resistance there. As you can see, that $10.50 level is where we essentially almost had a triple top, right? We wicked above, came back down, and that's when we saw a big spill off from 10 bucks all the way down to around $6.25. So if you picked up ICP when it got down to $6.25, great job, you're in the green. But we believe the bigger target here is $15. And $15 was key level here. And I'll map out, I'll draw it a horizontal line for you guys so you'll be able to see. This $15 level is where we started to have this massive sell-off from around $15 down to that $6.22 level. We also, this was back on March 4th, going all the way back to March, we saw price break above and immediately get rejected in one candle, completely gave up this area. We trended down came back, retested this $15 region a few times before eventually spilling off, forming a bottom right around $10.50 and shooting past that $15 level, getting to cycle highs of $21. So 15 bucks in the next 30 days, we believe is extremely feasible for ICP 
But we believe in the short term, a 27% rally up to that $10.50 level is in play over the next three to five days. What are your thoughts on ICP? Are you more bullish than ever on internet computer protocol and everything they're doing? AI is about to take off. D-PIN is about to take off. ICP, we believe, is also about to take off. Leave us a comment. Let us know. And also come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.